Okay, what's up guys? So, this is a new tutorial on how you use the teleport markers in Xenvius. Alright, let's get started. Let's create a little capture. Let me just set this, this up. Alright. as well location right here and here okay <coughs> delivery zones all right target score okay so yeah let's get started um let's first define another rule for this um, capture um so we can showcase this a bit better all right uh, to do that right now we only have one goal and that is to like capture this and bring it here as you would expect um, we can define another goal if you go to mission, team settings, and then there is the option for NRL, uh, number of rules, and we set that to 3 for both teams. Meaning 3 rules, 3 sequences of uh, goals in the mission. Okay, um, So uh, I would always force this or freeze the value. Uh, for all teams because uh, Rockstar sometimes resets this in the middle of testing or whatever um, yeah so let it, let's actually make the delivery zone right uh, oh, right here okay so now we have set the game okay you have three rules okay uh, we haven't defined what the, those rules are though other than the one capture object so let's yeah for instance place uh, an actor right i don't know here um actor all right let's make him defensive and friendly all right uh, and right here you can see under advanced we have the rule rule is two that's uh for actor that's kill actor you have to kill the actor uh, and priority is 999 uh, that's the default value uh, since we already have a capture object and this capture object you can see has priority 0 so that's our first priority rule is 1 get and deliver actor rule is kill and we want the priority to be 1 the one after uh, 0 obviously alright so uh, yeah, but the actor is right here, so uh, let me test this right now. Uh, we have defined three rules, but only have set two right now. That's not... Um, that's, that's okay. If, the, if we kill this actor, uh, then the job will just end because it notices, okay, uh, I don't have a third rule, so let's end this job. Uh, so, yeah, the problem is the actor is right there. I can't get up there. We can solve this with teleport markers. Let me show you. Okay, so... Under mission teleport markers, you basically have this view. You go into uh, the selection menu and select one. Um, yeah, and let's make it like this. We have the uh, capture points somewhere here. Okay, we can't see it because I placed them with, with Xenvius. Can I delete them? No, I can't. Okay, but not too bad. Um, I will just make the start like the trigger area for the um, teleport point right here so I go with my cursor here and press th this button let's make the size the radius of the teleport marker a bit wider let's make it to six I don't know um, and let's make the under advance the appear priority one and the clean power pi priority you can leave as minus one if you leave it as minus one uh, it won't get cleared 
also for a peer priority if you leave it to minus one uh, it will always be there but we want uh, the teleport point um, to appear when we finished with delivering this capture object okay um, uh, yeah so let's look at the other options we have right here mark on minimap is kind of cool then we can I don't know press E to enter uh, yeah and let's use fade out screen I will explain why I choose this right now um, yeah okay so right now we th set the first point for the teleport yeah function um, but we didn't tell the game okay where do you want to get teleported so we have to select another teleport marker for this instant I will just use two and this one will come up here all right go with the cursor here press this button I don't know let's make the marker size three doesn't really matter right now and the other stuff um, I will actually use this as well all, all the same options I will choose okay so I leave this this will instantly spawn uh, right now we have to define uh, an um, ID that we bind this teleporter to so the first one will get binded to the second one so we bind it to one because Rockstar starts at zero uh, so we want the one down here to teleport us above right so we tell teleport marker one uh, bind yourself to teleport marker two in this instance it's one so teleport marker two should get binded to the first teleporter so we can teleport back down if you want so here we have to set it to zero right um, and now this should work let's test this all right so you, you can't see it right now uh, but you can see something up there you can see it on the map it's a destination or teleport marker whatever you want to call it so since we set the appear priority for uh, to one we only see it when uh, we finish this objective so now we can go in here and you see a little message press e to enter wait let's lower this actually this happens sometimes uh, let's set it to two yeah that's looks great all right let's press enter and you can see there's a little fade out animation fade animation let's lower this as well all right and we could teleport back now so then we will land down here mm. but yeah we want to kill the actor so we go up here you kill him and the job ends right so yeah this is basically how it works uh, let's show you some other stuff you can do with it though uh, let's make another teleport location right here let's select the third one mm. Oh, we can do it like this uh, you don't need to, to make another one it's let's just use the second teleport marker where we landed uh, and bind this to the second one that we haven't created yet bind it by the bind it to two and two is, is three I hope you get it by now uh, it's kind of weird but yeah um, so let's define a third one um, I want this to be in here right um, how can I get in there mm, I will use teleporter paste cursor location let's switch my player up here and teleport here all right and I want the teleporter to be here so I will spawn here after I get teleported all right mm so yeah that's basically it <coughs> for the, the third teleporter we don't want to add any extra settings uh, we want to change some settings for the second teleporter though all right um, 
so yeah wait let's actually uh, i forgot something uh let's go here again because we want to have another goal in there let's just i don't know place another actor inside here like here let's make him also defensive and friendly for both teams and set the priority to two because the first actor was one the second one is two that's our third goal okay uh, and the rule is to kill him as well oh wait no let's not kill him let's make it rule one rule one is get and deliver for this we need to define um, a delivery zone so we can deliver the actor somewhere uh, and we can get out here so let's make the delivery zone right here i don't know and make it size six so it's a bit bigger oh s fuck i fucked up because i i changed the first delivery zone right now uh let's place this here again oh, we can make it to six um all right <clears throat> so let's get back up here again and now because as i said it's the, the third rule right now is to get the actor inside here and deliver him somewhere, okay? So we se uh, go to the delivery zones and select zone ending 3 and paste the cursor location right here, make that to 6, select a sphere object. Uh, yeah, alright, this should be enough. Uh, and now as you can see... We will go here, we will teleport up here, we have to kill the extra right now, and then we can press it again, we are here, okay, he is, oh, that was easy, alright, so now he will follow me, I hope, yeah, he's not too stupid, alright, and, come on boy, Yeah, you can see. Thanks. We delivered him. All right. Uh, so that was our goal. Now let's get into some other settings of the teleporter, because <coughs> we can set some animations for the teleporter. Mm. Yeah. So let's like uh, we go into this door, right? And we want to land inside, and we can make a little animation for this. Um, just by doing the following uh, we go into the second teleporter because we trigger this teleporter to, to get to the third one so uh, yeah we want to make like an animation that the actor opens this door uh, not the actor sorry that you open the door uh, we can do it right here mm, like let's make an animation walk left um, here you can define from where the camera angle will be for this animation okay um, we'll test both though uh, since we want this door let's let's just make no let's make the left door okay um, because we choose walk left uh, just go here like right here with your cursor uh, and press this button and <coughs> yeah now we basically have an animation uh, so let's test this right now oh, also I want the second one to only appear if the first priority uh, no sorry if the second priority is hit you know so we teleport up here we can't see it right now and then we kill this one and then we can teleport, right? So if I press Enter uh, E now, we should see a little animation. Okay, so uh, maybe Fucking the dick. angle <coughs> of this animation is fucked. Let's play a bit with the heading. Let's make this to I don't know minus thirty and test again. This might take some time, depending on like the animation and the th surroundings mm. yeah this is better right so we go in here we land here Hello? and then we go in. 
finish. Oh, right now, as you can see, we see both on the map. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, they are still active. We can still use them. But if you don't want that, you can choose this option and th this option. Yeah. So let's test this again. This should work. At least I hope so. I haven't tested this since the latest update. But yeah, uh, okay, we can't see this right now. Uh, but yeah, let's kill this boy. Okay, as you can see, it's blue on the map, and if we teleport, it's still there. Nice one. Okay, so this might not work. Let's test the following. I'm getting more ammo! Good! I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I might Hello. have to investigate this. But yeah, now we can continue with the mission. We deliver this bad boy. And. Come on. Oh, I have to collect him again. I lost him. But. Uh, fuck it. Uh, you, you get what I mean. Um, okay. Let's. I don't know do another little animation so we want the first um, the first teleporter <coughs> to not teleport us up the roof let's just do another test for an animation I want the vehicle to drive in here uh, sadly there is no like I think there's no way for this like there is no interior behind it so this wouldn't make sense anyway but uh, there we can't like make this um, door go up in the animation so the car will just drive through it but uh, yeah so <coughs> but let's do this we can choose the animation vehicle um, and now you need to set where the vehicle will start driving so I don't know Let's make it like right here um, and press this button. Uh, the heading, uh, again, you have to play with it around. We will see how this looks. And the cam, now we can set a camera angle for the uh, walk left or rod, ro walk right or charge animation. There is no camera angle you can define. Rockstar will just, or the game will just uh, automatically choose an angle. Uh, but for this, you can choose a camera location. So. I want the camera here but a bit higher so we set the point right here and let's make the height to like 17 uh, okay we could define pitch roll in yaw ya ya. um, this is all depending on the uh, map base like the, the zero point of the map that's like in this location so that's why I set the heading right here to min minus 30 so we will get go a bit more here. You will see what I mean in a minute. So, <coughs> yeah, uh, we will just test this right now. Uh, and I don't change some stuff right here. So, uh, uh, wait, I think I fucked up. Uh, bind to this. Ah, but it doesn't matter. No, nah, it's fine. Okay, let's test this. Uh, okay, we don't have a vehicle right now. Uh, let's still see what happens. Okay, let's, we land up here. Um, yeah, so we have this one right here. Uh, this is because... Alright, now it's expected to happen. Okay. Um, but let's change that real quick so we have a vehicle. Uh, Uh, yeah, so let's make a vehicle right here. Let's teleport up there. Now we have a vehicle. We trigger the second one right here. Uh, I didn't enable this option, teleport with vehicle. We'll, we'll do it right now. I think this still works. And now you can see we are driving from the point that I defined into this area Hello. we still land up here though because 
we bound this teleport marker to the third teleport marker and then obviously we will get teleported to this location okay um, <clears throat> so but as you saw uh, the camera was not straight it was like tilted a little bit so let's like make this your to minus 30 as well okay And as you can see, like we drive straight into it. All right. Okay. So, um, yeah, for the last part, let's just show you, I don't know. Let's select the first one. We have some other options right here, not fade out screen. Um, I would always use an animation i will show you why in a minute but like let's just test purple blur that's kind of cool i don't know for what situation it would actually be like good to use i don't know but as you can see yeah we had some little purple blur we can't combine these two options sadly um i don't know if it's combinable with the loading screen though although i don't know what will happen let's see Okay, nothing maybe what happens without that nothing okay maybe loading screen doesn't work anymore I, I haven't tested this out really um, but yeah <clears throat> okay uh, hide marker okay uh, I don't know we can hide the marker um, and if we like finish this objective you will see there's no blue circle but I can still press E and get teleported um, we could disable the teleport I don't know why you would want to use that nah I can't think of a good reason to be honest yeah okay but I think that's most of the stuff uh, the last thing I can show you is the FOV like if we make this to I don't know 300 and now kill him and <clears throat> teleport to the second one you can see the camera has really vi wide FOV let's make this to 10 Hello there. and test again Okay, now we are zoomed in extremely. Okay, and the instant changing doesn't Hello. work. Uh, but yeah, I think those were all the options. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, ask them in the comments or join my Discord and ask them there. There are a lot of people that can help you if you don't understand some stuff that I explained or from other sections of the tool that you might not understand. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.